Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now we're in a bit of a different setting and that is because as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing my nighttime like my evening nighttime skincare routine. Um so it's changed frequently and I'm loving this routine that I'm doing at the moment. I've definitely seen a difference in my skin. Um, I mean, it is coming out a bit more like all the pores and stuff, and I think it's because of this certain um, product that I'm using because I've just been using it the past few days now. And yeah, I'm gonna. It does say give it two weeks, and I've only used it twice. So I would have been three times, but one time, as you saw, if you are subscribed to my vlogging channel, I actually got back at like three o'clock and no. But between one and two o'clock in the morning the other day and I was not prepared to do a full skincare routine which is really bad but hey ho it is what it is I was really tired um sorry if it sounds echoey because obviously I am in my bathroom <laughs> um but yeah so we're gonna jump straight into this video and we're going to do my nighttime evening skincare routine the mirror is right here so if I'm looking this way it's because I'm using the mirror um, and yeah, I'm going to show you kind of like what products you use and kind of like the order that I use it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So first things first is I need to tie back my hair, get it out of my face, even though I do have these little bits that don't actually go back in a bobble. Um, but it helps a little bit. So I always use a scrunchie because I've noticed that if I use another bobble, it actually kinks my hair. So... I was tied back with a scrunchie and then the next thing that I have to do is take my contact lenses out so look away if you're not very good with your eyes but yeah this is a, a cupboard kind of thing um I've got my contact lens case here and I basically just take my contact lenses out and put them in the case and put the liquid the um cleaner the solution the cleaner whatever you want to call it in um because I do wear monthlies so yeah that's what I'm going to do now so this is your warning and if you don't like I skip a bit past this. As you can see my little contact lens there. I don't know if it's going to focus because it's so small. I don't think it's going to focus. Anyway, that's my contact lens. I was like, I don't know why, I just shake it just to make sure like, everything's in there. Anyway, pop that back in the cupboard. Now, I'm going to turn the tap on, but just purely because I'm going to put get this wet. Um, and yeah, so apologies about the sound. Sorry, I'm waiting for the water to heat up because I have um, I have to turn the, the, the water heater on when I need, like an hour before I need it. So it takes a bit to heat up. So now we've got a warm cloth. A warm water, I'm just going to wet my face. I like to, I like to use warm water because it opens up the pores that you've got in your face and it helps with the cleaning. Anyway, we're going to go back in the cupboard. And the first product that I'm going to use is the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Clay Wash, um, Pure Fine Clay Wash. Um, obviously, it unplug, unplugs, unclogs pores. Um, so yeah, and a little goes a long way. So I'll probably just need like about that much. And yeah, just going to rub that into my skin. As you can see. I like to um, scrub it proper into like my nose and stuff because noses is like one of the places I find anyway and my forehead and my chin I like the three main places as where my pores get clogged quite a bit um, so I do like to scrub it in there and yeah I always use I always try to use circular motions as well because it helps the circulation in the face 
and yeah so that is it all i've done now we're going to wash it off i'm using a face cloth again to wash it off okay now that's our wash off i'm going to go in with the cleanser open up again um so the cleanser that i use is the body shop again um it's the chamomile cleansing butter i absolutely love this stuff especially if i've got makeup on in the day it just takes it off like it just melts your makeup off i think i'm blurred this is the problem with taking my contact lenses out there we go um so i'm just going to scoot some out onto my finger and i'm just going to put them little bits around my face and this is me trying to figure out if I'm blurred in camera or not or if it's just my eyesight can't decide where are my spectacles no i'm fine <laughs> anyway we're gonna rub this in all over the skin again in circular motions i am um, i mean people don't use a face wash they just double cleanse um it's always important to do like two of it like either double cleanse or like a wash and a cleanse um it just helps get all that dirty grimy stuff out of your face uh, and yeah so now there's a few different ways you can take the cleanser off um a lot of people use a dry cotton pads i've been attacked by a fly <laughs> a lot of people use dry cotton pads where i prefer to just use the wet face cloth um purely because i don't like the texture on my face um so yeah we're gonna go in with the wet face cloth <laughs> I just love this cleanser. <clears throat> now, now that it's done, I'm just going to pat my face dry. It's really important not to go. Um, but yeah. And also, a top tip is try and not, well actually don't do it, <laughs> don't try and not, just don't do it. Don't share a face cloth and a face towel because, especially if you're living with somebody, luckily I live by myself so that's not a problem, but yeah because it's just going to transfer like other people's germs to your face and it's just defeating the object. But yeah. Now we're going to go in with the toner. Now this is one of the new products I've been using which I'm trying to wait a few weeks to see if it definitely works um it's the i think you can pronounce it lacora this thing um don't know if you can see that lacora um it's healthy glow glycolic toner exfoliating toner five percent glycolic acid with aloe vera and ginseng zeng zeng I'm not sure how to pronounce how this. Anyway, this is from Alde. Um, and basically, it just says apply with a cotton pad to face, neck, after cleansing. Use as required recommendation, rec rec recommendation no more than once di daily. So I just use this at night time. Um, yeah, I just use this at night time because if it's going to irritate my skin, at least it will like calm down by morning. It also tells you to use SPF um, with this because it can help, it can actually like make your skin more sensitive. So this one I do use with a cotton pad because you put actually putting something on the cotton pad and it's not just a dry cotton pad on my face. So I can actually stand that. So basically we just put 
a few squirts on it and then I'll just wipe it around my face and this does sting any like open cuts or pores but I suppose that means it's doing its job right <laughs> um, and yeah you just I just wipe it all over uh, and you can definitely tell like the more like more open like pores because it stings in that location so just wipes that all over my neck and my face um we're going to pop this back in the cupboard now and i'm just going to let this like dry in for a few minutes um before i go in with my spf because yeah <laughs> I do actually think like this routine that I've got going is probably one of the best routines that I've ever done. Um, but <coughs> I just kick something. Um, but yeah, we'll soon find out because I'll probably do like a favourites at some point if I'm actually loving it. But the charcoal wash, like I absolutely love that. Like I'm never going to change it. That's like one of the things I found that actually really helps my skin. And my sister can agree on that as well. And the SPF that I'm going to be using, she also uses that too. Um, the cleansing balm, I've used quite a few different chamomile ones. And I tried the actual like liquid version, like makeup remover. Um, but it says for eye makeup as well and I got it in my eyes and it stung so bad. So I prefer using the butter because it just melts everything away and it's not it doesn't hurt or anything like that and plus i think it works really really good so now this is dry i'm going to go in with my spf and again it's in the cupboard i need to put this back in actually um so the spf is a body shop one surprise because half my stuff that i've used is from body shop um it's body shop skin defense multi protection lotion and it's spf 50 plus pa four pluses and i love this um in fact i've just ordered myself a new one as well because i love it that much um but even my sister will tell you that she absolutely loves it i just kind of like dot it around my face um trust me though a little goes a long way i just kind of like dot it just so that it helps when i need to spread it around <laughs> basically like I've used it that long now that I know where it needs going and then just on the same side I keep one on my finger one little bit so if I rub it in and I do feel like I need a bit more it's ready for me to rub in mm -hmm. so we're just going to go ahead and rub that in See what I mean? Like, I can just dot it where I think I need it if I've got it on my finger. And then, uh, when I've rubbed it all in, I've got some left, I just rub it on my back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is me done. Now, I'm going to get my glasses on so they just are a pro because I can't see. So, guys. That is my nighttime, evening, whatever you want to call it, skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just want to do like a little disclaimer. I am no way a professional. This is just what I found helps me. And yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any like products that you use down below. If you use any of these ones. If you like enjoy any of these. Or if you find any other products that help your skin. Um, link them link them leave a comment of them down below because i'd be happy to try them out as well um but i'm probably never going to change this skincare routine unless i find something else that i really love so i am willing to try new products but yeah so let me know in the comment section down below also if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave that thumbs up and also hit my subscribe button if you are new and yeah thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you next week with another video i'm getting really good at this like weekly thing at the moment oh also head over to my vlogging channel because i've got a few vlogs going up as well so that'd be great um that I've, i might have actually recently uploaded by the time you watch this yeah i think i have um but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again for watching see you next week bye